Okay, here I'm going to go over some of the basic in-season care for your tomatoes to ideally get them to turn from green color to a nice harvestable red that your customers will like. So in-season care for tomatoes, we want to think about irrigation. This is usually a high-value crop, so typically it warrants irrigation. It is advised. Uh, I usually recommend drip irrigation because it's simple to set up, able to handle very long and extensive rows. Just watch when you're pounding in stakes that you don't damage the lines when you're setting up your rows. You could use overhead irrigation, but this is usually recommended as a quick fix and not a permanent solution because of the wetting of the leaves and the increased chance for certain diseases to occur. You want to be using weed block to suppress the weeds on your tomato rows. There's many options, uh, but in-row protection may help reduce soil splash as we see here. Keep those tomatoes nice and well um, positioned. You can see the two drip lines located here under the plastic, eliminating the amount that's lost to evaporation. For ultimate protection, though, you might want to be considering in-between row protection. Uh, we're here, we're noticing that where the harvesters and caretakers are going to be walking, there's also some fabric laid down to help reduce weed pressure there and also eliminate potential for soil splash. Uh, there's a staking and weaving system. So here we see some stakes. You can tie your tomatoes up um, directly to those or weave those right in between. Uh, basket weaving is advised for field to help support the plants. It needs to be set up shortly after transplant to prevent wind damage. Even in this caterpillar tunnel situation here, uh, we want to be mindful of wind that's coming through here, which is good for air circulation, but we don't want to damage our plants. Last one, we're pruning. Uh, everyone has their own method, so it can be personal preference, uh, but typically the two liter system is preferred and it has minimal side shoots, so minimum suckers that come out. In high tunnels, some people will use uh, clips to help support the tomato crop. Others will kind of wrap the tomatoes around that string there. So again, personal preference and exactly how you take care of them. The key part is in some way to be supporting them and pruning them for maximum yield.